What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. Before we jump into today's video, I just got to say a huge shout out to Canadips for sponsoring today's video. Canadips is a great tasting, superior alternative to traditional dip that uses CBD. Canadips is all flavor, no tobacco, no nicotine, and spit-free pouches. Canadips has five core flavors, including Tropical Mango, Natural Mint, Fresh, Wintergreen, Tangy, Citrus, and American Spice. Now I know some of you guys might be thinking, you might be like, eh, are you really sure what you're talking about here, Flair? We, we're not really quite sure. Now I'll be honest with you, I'll be honest. The first time I heard of these guys, I was just like, maybe some of you guys, a little skeptical. Um, I actually talked to Rob Lunkers TV, you guys know him, he's a huge fan. And I was like, Rob, what's the deal? Like, are these guys legit? Is this stuff legit? Like, just shoot me straight, no BS, what's the deal? And he's like, honestly, it is amazing. I was like, okay, okay, I'll, I, I'll take your word for it, but I want you to send it to me. Send me some, let me try them, and I wanna try all of them. I wanna make sure that I like them before I start talking about it to you guys and suggesting it may be the right fit for you guys. I wanna try it for myself and see what it was like. And so far, it is awesome. I have had each one of these flavors. I've been honestly trying it for, it's actually probably close to a month now um, since I've been have actually had these things to where I can confidently recommend this as a very good alternative to traditional dip. Other alternatives are addictive, which these are not. They taste disgusting, they're messy. This is by far the best alternative to traditional dip that I found yet. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the new evolution in dip. It allows guys to enjoy a great long lasting taste without all the downsides of traditional dip. Canadips uses 100% American grown hemp combined with water dispersible technology, so it absorbs rapidly. They use coconut fibers and all natural ingredients. So you know there's no synthetic flavors or any other junk inside. But if you're like me and wanna try Canadips for yourself, all you gotta do is click the link down below and you can get 20% off anything you see on the site by using promo code FLAIR20. Huge shout out to Canadips for sponsoring today's video. I'm telling you guys, if you're looking for an alternative to traditional dip, this is a tough one to beat. They are linked down below. Check them out, 20% off. Use promo code FLAIR20. Huge shout out to them for sponsoring today's video. It is brands like them that I partner up with that allow me to do. I do every single day, which make videos for you guys to enjoy. So with that being said, enjoy the rest of today's video. What is going on? Ladies and gentlemen, we are at the ranch, folks, and it is time to finally declare war on the mice. Okay, folks, it's been too long. I've had enough of the shenanigans. So we're at the ranch. You guys are new here. This is what the ranch shop looks like. And we have basically fed a village of mice. Look what they are doing to our mineral blocks. We should put those mineral blocks up. I keep forgetting to bring T-posts. I've got like little holders that I paid for. Forgot to use them. Look at all the mice. Like just feeding an absolute village of these suckers. So we've got all of our feed here. Look, there's mouse poop right there. Look at that. I'm not about that mouse life. So we're declaring war. Today, I don't think we're actually declaring war. We're, we're prepping for war today, folks. We got the tractor, as you guys have seen. Got her all looking good. The biggest thing we gotta protect is that. That's a $100,000 tractor. I ain't trying to have a mouse chew a wire for me to have to go fix. So we've gotta get this. Well, first, we're gonna clean it. The best way to get rid of mice is to clean the surface, clean the area, get the food out of here. We're not gonna be, I guess, I'm trying to think. I guess mice can climb. Is there anywhere you could put the blocks that they can? I feel like they could get to whatever though. There's not really a, a sense in doing a whole lot. I mean, you could get them off the ground. It might help a little bit, but like this is just kind of a mess. We're gonna try cleaning this up. That is gonna be kind of a pain because that's a lot of stuff to move. We're gonna have to back the meal in here and get that out. But we're on a cleaning spree, okay? Papa Beefcake's out here. He's actually working on the cabin right now. He's putting a screen door in it, like a storm door. He put some new fans in, so we'll go show you all that. He's getting the cabin looking good. So while he's doing that, we're gonna work on the shop. So what we gotta do, basically gut this entire thing. Those back, we might need to wait on those until Papa, Papa Beefcake comes because those are really heavy. Get everything gutted, take a leaf blower, leaf blow it all out, and then we brought the power washer. And we do have a floor drain. And there's water hook. I wonder if that, should we try it? I've never tried it. Oh, it's gonna work, watch. 
Oh, dude. That's I'm, game changer. Yeah, that is game changer. Oh, that's going to be so easy to get everything all cleaned up. I can't believe that worked. So we just got the water fixed because we just got the sink fixed. It was leaking. So we're declaring war. Again, this may be like a two, three, four day or we're not sure. Today, we didn't bring anything. We need to strategize. Banjo's not here. He's a big vacation guy. And him and I filmed a 1v1 mousetrapping challenge way back. If you guys remember, in the original full Airbnb that we actually just buried a couple months ago, we got to have a round two. I don't really remember who won that war. I'd have to go back and watch the video, but we got to we gotta bring it back. So Banjo's not here. So it's like, okay, Banjo, take the day off, go on vacation. We'll get it ready. And then we're coming back and we're going to do a 1v1 challenge. And what you might be wondering is what is a 1v1 mousetrapping challenge? And it is where we each get a budget. Nah, screw it. No budgets. Oh, wait, that's kind of dangerous. The banjo. Anyways, no budgets. And we go to the store and buy things to make the ultimate mousetrap. Now, we might just think, well, why don't you buy a bunch of mousetraps? Those are one and done, folks. Okay. You got to have something that'll reset itself. You know, you want to build something that can catch 50 mice in one night kind of thing. And it has to be ongoing. And so there's a few different ideas ideas. We've, we did a couple of them the last time we, like I said, we were trapping at the Flare B&B. So we might try something different this time. I haven't figured out what Banjo wants to do. And I honestly haven't figured out what I want to do. There's like walk the plank. There's the little roller deal. And so it's going to take some time for us to engineer the ultimate mousetrap, the world's greatest mousetrap. Okay. But today is not that day. Tomorrow will probably be that day. But today we got to clean. So we're going to go ahead and get her all gutty cleaned up. So the other thing we're going to do since we brought a ladder today is there's some black trash bags up there, folks, that have been there since we've moved here since we bought this place and no one knows what's in it and i'm kind of scared but i'm like you know what if we're cleaning you might as well figure it out because there's also like if you guys are new here this thing right here this is their walk-in cooler but there's stuff on top of this that we're unsure what it is and so we're going like this is just the isn't this the creepiest thing like look at all these little snares to hang carcasses and eat just gives me weird vibes. Anyway, so once we're done cleaning the floor, we are gonna climb up there. So you're gonna have to stay tuned. I'm trying to think, what would they put up there? Like, it's gotta be something that's just gotta be like up and out of the way. They want nothing to do with it. Like, some type of storage of some sort. It wouldn't be like insulation. There's no insulation anywhere. You guys are gonna have to stay tuned to see. I mean, there could be a dead body up there. That's, you would think you'd probably smell a dead body. I don't know. What does a dead body smell like? I'm not really sure. So that is the plan, folks. We got a busy day today. And then we will come back tomorrow with, well, we'll go to the store. We'll take you guys along with us. And we are going to both, me and Banjo, 1v1, engineer the world's greatest mousetrap to hopefully kill all of them and get them wiped out. Make them go extinct. Okay, maybe not that, but at least in this area to help protect the tractor. You guys stay tuned. Dirty boy. If you can see that, I mean, I'm like, I am covered in filth. We got it cleaned up. I feel like it's a lot more echoey. Yeah. Is, is that weird? Did you notice that? Yeah, it's super it. echoey. Hello, hello, hello. So we got it all cleaned out. That table's taken out. All, I mean, everything. There were some blowers that actually worked good, like carpet dryers. That's what I call them. I don't know if that's a technical term, but they blow air like towards the ground. There's two of them, and I brought them from home, so I got three of them. And then we cleaned up in here. This had all those mats, because this is where they used to skin everything. So I'm going to come in here with a shop back and vacuum all that up. I'm not going to wash it in here, because there's not even a floor drain or anywhere for it to go. It's all sealed up. So we'll do a good sweep job. Probably clip these things off. I don't think we're going to be hanging anything up anytime soon. I got to get to spraying and washing. Thank you, eventually. We're gonna take this thing out. Today's probably not the day. We probably need a skid loader or something that can get in here and move it. That might even be in the ground. I'm not sure, but maybe it's not. I don't think we're gonna need it. I think it's just meant for heater. Maybe something to do with the high fence skinning of animals. I don't know what they did with it, but I'm on the verge of sneezing and it's just not happening. Anyways, now you can see shop is clean. This is what you gotta do if you're gonna combat the mice. Mouses, mice. I don't know why I keep saying mouses. Once it's clean, if we start seeing mice signs, we know where they're coming in. Before, this whole shop was a mouse sign, okay? Sign of mice, where it's like, Oh, there's literally poop everywhere. There's literally fuzz everywhere. Everywhere you go, okay, folks, was basically mouse poop. And there's a good chance that Zach and I are gonna die of something. I don't know what, what exists in here. My nostrils are just like, and I was trying to cover doing one of these and it just ain't it. Like my nostrils are on fire right now with I don't know what, but it is clean. This is the cleanest this thing will probably ever be. Everything's all gutted, sweep, blowed. Let's get to washing. Look 
getting clean, folks. Well, you saw Papa Beefcake took over. We went and dumped all of the trash. Got it. Some of it burned, some of it taken to the dump, cleaned up, all the stuff we weren't keeping. We got the heck out of here, and he got it nice and clean. Really needed to get one of them little things you put on the floor that people do like driveways with when you like hire somebody to do power wash. You could get all this black stuff off if you really, really want to. It's all right. I mean, we got it. It's clean. It's clean enough. I mean, this is the cleanest this shop's probably been since the day it was built, folks. So we got some fans going. We got one right there. We got to get the rest of them on here. And then uh, and there's a hose right here. There's a drain. So this is basically flushing the hole. Oh, it's all muddy looking. Oh, there might be a hole. Oh, I see the problem, boys. There's a hole in the pipe. So it's hitting dirt right now. How do you fix that without tearing up the concrete? Red. That's exactly what's happening. Cause watch, I'll do this and it'll turn really brown. Yep. And then if you go all the way back, yep, you can see there's a hole. So it's really just draining below this. It's probably not good for it. Either way, we got it cleaned up. And then in here, we got all this cleaned up. We end up taking the floors out of the gut room, essentially. We need to probably put a handle on there. Um, we didn't wash this. Man, what a difference of smell in here. You didn't notice it until the difference between the two. Cause like, we're like, yeah, I don't smell that bad. But then once you go out there and smell clean, oh, yeah. it's kind of musty in here. It needs a washing, but the problem is there's just nowhere for it to go. It does smell in here. Now that we like get the difference, this smells like wet concrete. It's exactly what it smells like. We got this done, project of the shop for today is complete. We obviously need to let this dry out and reload it up with stuff. But for now, we're gonna head back to the cabin and get everything there unloaded. I know, I promise we're gonna trap some mice at some point. We've got some chores to do and we're bringing you guys along with us. We're gonna move all of our old furniture that's inside, outside, and then move all of our new furniture that's outside, inside. You guys stay tuned. Shee, look at us with the fancy storm door. This is like some commercial grade. We got a storm door put in, folks. Man, does it feel good. Oh, it's 77 in here though. How did it warm up so fast? It was like 68 when we got here shop is done you know yeah, so i saw it all cleaned up but this is what we got to figure out we i mean i don't really know if i should keep this thing probably not maybe these bins i think we're just gonna eat them up in the loft Mima's chair that's going in the fire this couch probably just gonna sell it on facebook donate it to somebody or something i mean it's still in decent condition over here we got new ceiling fan oh hang on Boom! Look at that. We still need to shop back that. New ceiling fan. Who this, folks? We can't break this one with the basketball. No more break. We got a new one. So we got ceiling fan up and running, operational. We got a new one over here, too. So that's what Pop Beefcake was doing this morning while we were getting everything cleaned up. Kitchen, you guys already know, it's looking absolutely mint. Look how Ooh. bright it is, son. Gee, nice. We got new light. All this is cleaned up. We got running water. Oh, yeah. And then over here, check out how bright this is. Bam! Look how bright. Hey, how's it going? It is super bright. We got new lights everywhere. New shower curtain. Everything's clean. I think I already showed you guys a lot of this, but in case you're new here, that's the update. This is the ranch cabin. We're getting her cleaned up, fixed up, ready to go. Today is going to be like kind of like the last day for final big uh, furniture, I guess you want to call it. This is going to turn into our dining slash living room spot. Not the chill spot, living room spot. We got a new dining table, bought off Facebook for like 50 bucks, some chairs, and then we got a, they're called, what are they called? They're called, oh, it's kind of hall, 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 uh, it's not coming to me. I thought I thought that would help. It's like a drop zone, but there's they're called hall something. I'm pretty sure, like H A L L. Hang on, it's gonna bug me if I don't if I don't find it. I'm gonna find it. Give me two seconds here. It's gonna happen. Give me a second. One more. Two more seconds. Three more seconds. Four more seconds. Really, really. I never heard the term before until I try to buy it, and I'm like, oh wait, they're not called drop zone thingies. I don't have any service. I'm not finding it. Pop beefcake knows. I and mean, I were texting about it, so I was looking for it. Oh, hang on. Let me check my email. Hall tree. It's called a hall tree. We got one, folks. I know it, it's not exciting. I, it was just bugging me. I was me. expecting more than that. Hall tree. That's all it is. So it's going to go right here. It's got like hooks. It's like a one, big unit we got to put together. It's got a bench. So you can sit down, take your boots off. We've got a boot tray. we got a big rug. Place to hang your coat. And then we've got the actual table itself to like eat at. Going to seat six people. So we got to get this cleaned up, essentially. This stuff needs to get yeeted out of here. Couch, go. Meemaw rocket chair, go. These things up top. This, go. Time to clean it up. Yeah, stay tuned.
look at that table. It's it's a lot smaller than I thought it'd be. Well, I mean, you get it from this angle. It's a small table in a big room. This is a hall tree. It's a little on the dinky side, but it works. And we're just picking and choosing what we can get our hands on now, seeing what we like. But I mean, ideally you can come, you can sit down on this thing, you can untie your boots, take your boots, put them on the boot tray. No dirty boots inside the cabin. Take your coat, boom, beanie, boom, gloves, boom, boom. Hang them up, let them dry. Ideally I would've gotten a real big one, but we had a do deal with this guy right here. I didn't want to block it. So we're gonna get a small one. Real big rug right here that goes across this and then we got this guy for your actual feet. We have to actually take the door off and plane it because this rug and carpet are too tall. Pop BFA, he's got that one figured out. And then we got this going, AC unit. It's now in the corner, there's plenty of room. It's spacious now. I feel like this room feels so much bigger. Oh yeah, Like for sure. without so much more fun without the couch. Like the couch was just, just too much. You know, if you really, really wanted to, you could probably leave the couch, turn the table, put one end there and shoot it. But there's no Maybe reason to crack. There's no reason to cram it. You know what we could do? You could put coat hangers there. I just thought about that. Cause I'm thinking like, dude, we come in and we've all got big puffy yeah. ducks coats. We're going to run out of space real quick. I bet we could put at least two there. So that way, you know, you could put one, two big coats. I mean, you can even put those things on the back of this too. They have those ones that hang here. So that way you come and you shut it. You can put your big coats there and then put your small stuff here. I think that might yeah. be the strat. Cause I'm like, dude, this thing ain't holding up against that big heavy ducks coat. That suckers. The suckers dense, keeps you warm folks. That'll work. I think two there, two there. That would hold four. If you really want to, you could put another one here. I mean, you might cover the outlet just a little bit, but this is for little stuff. Your hats, your beanies, your gloves, all the little stuff, little zip up jackets. And then there's some space down there. Like you could put some extra boots, shoes, socks, I and mean, you could put little tubs under there that could have hand warmers and like oh, little headlamps. headlamps. Yeah. This is our get ready to kill something station over here. This is get ready to eat something station. This is get ready to cook something. Get it, catch, clean, cook. You guys get the idea. That's pretty much all we got right now. I know this has nothing to do with the video, but we take you guys along for all of it, folks. We've got a lot Lots of chores, lots of properties equal lots of chores. You guys want to own a bunch of land, a bunch of cabins, a bunch of properties? Well, it's always something. Something's breaking, something needs fixed, something needs clean. But the shop shouldn't hopefully need cleaned. Maybe like once a year, we're cleaning and renovating it for the first time from a previous owner. It's like once you get it set up. Oh yeah, the other thing is you probably saw Pop Beefcake. He was working in here. We didn't ditch him. Okay, folks. Every time you don't see me and Zach and Time Ops and you just see Pop Beefcake getting it, it's because we're doing something else. I cleaned up all the glass. Okay, I wasn't gonna make him do that. I was like, I'll take responsibility. I was the idiot that threw the basketball. He didn't see that. Roll the clip. Hey, give me the ball. Well, that was me who did that. So I got all the glass cleaned up and then bedding and stuff got kind of put away to where I think we're pretty much good to go. We are going to head out for the day. We spent all day out here, all stinking day cleaning. We're going to put everything back in the shop, but I know you guys don't want to see that. All you want to see is us catch some mice. So see you guys tomorrow. Well, folks, it is the next day, and we are ready to trap them mice. We got Banjo with us. We are headed into Walmart through the back door as usual. We are building DIY, homemade. I struggled with this word last time I made this video, and that was three years ago. It's not reciprocating. What happens when it reloads? I Any ideas? Like when it resets itself yeah. on its own. I literally remember this vividly. Three years ago making this video Gosh. and having the same conversation in a bug. It's something with an R. Promise you it's something with an R. It's reciprocating, re something innating, resetting. Basically, if it traps a mouse, it resets itself to trap another one. And so like you can catch unlimited mice essentially with this. It's not a one kill trap, essentially. This is a, over and over, it recycles. Okay, I call it that. It recycles and it resets. So that's kind of the plan. We're gonna go in and build some DIY. We'll get the materials to build it. And then we're gonna head down the and build some DIY recycling, let's just call it that, mouse traps. Stay tuned. Alrighty, folks. Well, I am building mine first. They're probably not going to have everything we need here. I think we need a five gallon bucket. They're probably not going to have that, but we need a metal rod. I mean, I'm trying to think what else could work as a metal rod. Tell oh, me. I know what we can use. What's that? We didn't throw away those flags at 30. Oh, no. But that, that might work. You can just like, cut that off. Cut these old things off and use this. Yeah. There's I mean, close. Uh, five gallon buckets kind of. Flags or... The flags might work. We need to buy something for backup just in case. You think that thing's long enough? I could probably bend it out, though. You can cut here and here. Yeah. Okay. Let's get that. Or That's like really expensive piece of metal, but we'll take it. So actually, I made this video like three years ago, but we're going to try to make it a little bit better. It is basically a five gallon bucket with a rod with pop cans of peanut butter. It's literally it. And it absolutely destroys these stinking mice. Is that metal? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, I just need to cut yeah, the bottom of it. This, this is long. Okay, we'll just take that then. For some reason, I didn't even realize that that was metal yeah, it looks since like it's plastic. painted white. So we are good now. Bucket, I think we're going to stop at Ace. I need some duct tape. I need some peanut butter. You think they'd sell me that? Piece of cardboard? I'll give you boxes. 
You think so? Just say, hey, give me a box. Yeah, so I got a box. See if they got a cardboard. I just literally need like a little piece of cardboard and some pop cans. So let's go get the rest of that. Well, 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 Walmart. You, just when I doubted you, you came out with some five gallon buckets. I just need one of these guys. Do it with heart. That's what I'm saying. Very inexpensive bucket. We'll take it. Bucket check. Oh yeah. Give me that utility duct tape. Frog tape. We're switching gears, banjos up. What are you thinking here, pal? Can you describe your- Simple. Really? Two things is all I need. Bowl and peanut butter oil. Peanut oil. Peanut oil. Or peanut butter oil, is that a thing? I don't know, maybe not. Do you put peanut butter in the peanut oil? Maybe. Just a bowl is what you're saying. Yeah. So, I don't need- like Mine's like a physical operating contraption. His is a bowl. You gotta make sure they can climb in the bowl. Are yeah, you making them, are you gonna build them ramps? It, it might just need like a step. Just, oh. I, I don't need all of these. I'm just looking for- Yeah, like we don't need, we don't need like nine bowls. You got a one and done -er. You gotta make sure they can't climb out. You probably want something steep, right? Yeah. Those edges are really like vertical. They so they should go they, in. To climb out, you don't want it to be like tapered because then they might be able like oh, scurry yeah, up like true. it's like a vertical you just climb put a little in there yeah so it's like makes them slippery yeah they yeah like jump out yeah you basically lube them up and then they can't climb out yeah. of the bowl so i think this one would work won't you yeah i'd say do that and you might just have to build a little couple little stairs for them yeah. put a little peanut butter some nuts yeah. or something like that so that and then some peanut oil and then i'm getting peanut butter for mine and i'll let you use some peanut butter and then i need some cans so we'll probably just go buy a case of mountain chew or something like that and i think we're gonna be pretty good we should be able to basically construct the ultimate mousetrap reciprocate I, I don't know what you guys have to drop a comment. What word am I trying to think of? It goes over and over round and round I hate words. I hate English. Anyways, stay tuned big oil guy. Ooh peanut oil and that's it, huh? Yo, expensive stuff. Yeah, no seriously though. We gotta like save that Do they for like, the, like the scent of it? I think you're still better off putting some type like, of peanut, peanut butter. Yeah, peanut butter in the bowl yeah. somehow. Yeah. What if you need peanut butter mountain and then it's like a moat it's it, the, the, the island and then around it is the they and jump on the mountain so they can yeah, munch yeah. and then as soon as they fall off the peanut butter mountain they're just KO'd for the day we pretty much got everything we need we're gonna grab some cans a couple little things but you guys get the gist what's going on here oh yeah i drink that every morning really well, folks, I know you what you guys are thinking. Some of you keyboard warriors already probably had it figured out. We forgot to explore the trash bags up top, so we will do that. And I brought some lights and stuff. Banjo, big business guy. Yeah. I got a meeting. Oh, okay, that's fine. I'll just go trap mice by myself. No, we'll get everything done. All the chores and stuff that need to be kind of tidied up. Like I said, we are going to try and basically change some lights. So we got some better lights in there. Explore that trash bag, because I know I said we'd do that, and I totally forgot yesterday. And then I'll build my mouse trap, and it's not like, no offense to Banjo, but it's not like his is all that crazy. So let's go ahead and let's start with, let's start with the lights let's get some lights put in there i've got two of like these little screw lights we'll throw the ladder in there and then we'll climb up the ladder and check inside those trash bags and see if there's any dead bodies you guys stay tuned all right well banjos doing big business i bet i can reach it it's gonna be close we gotta put this light in look at that thing fancy should hopefully have some better light than this little dinky bulb over here not sure how i feel about this ladder yet honestly what do you think i am the last woman oh there's no way i'm afraid to get on the roof of that thing it's not really made for beefcakes you know it's close though i could probably get it out i just don't think i get this thing back in climb up on this side i might be able to do that if we were smart we'd just move the mule but i'm not that smart how's this looking business. You want to flick that switch? Oh, cheese and rice! Blinded by the light, literally. Good night. Good night. I can't, I'm seeing stars. I can't see nothing right now. Cheers! Kind of hard to tell how bright they are because we have the doors open, but let's go change the other one and then we'll shut all the doors and see how bright it is. Sheesh! Ocean approved here, boys. All right, let's see how bright they get. Light it up, baby. We can actually work over here. Oh my gosh, these, these are, are game changers, so nice. dude. Bro, just straight Amazon finds for days. We got two more on the way. They'll be here actually later today, but we'll have to install them next time we come down for those two. And you could even put, how many are in here? I might want to order just one. I might need to order another one, but dude, the lights. This is not what this video is about, I know. There's just a lot of just project stuff plus mouse trapping, but dude, the lights are game changing. These are the deal. They may not be a big deal for you guys, but we thought we were gonna have to rewire stuff. And I'm like, how oh, we could probably try these old guys. Oh yeah, you could actually like tinker with stuff over here. Anyways, I'm excited. I, uh, dad things. Excited about lights and stuff, you know. Let's get to building. Boom! We are ready, folks. I'm gonna build mine first. So, what you're gonna need? Wire coat hanger. Ooh, that should do it just about right. Get some snippers. And you're gonna just take a little snip. Oh, right there. Oh, how's your meeting, Banjo? That go good? I need better reception out here. Did you just leave the meeting? It dropped a couple times, so I was like... Did you, you guys... did you complete the meeting? Yeah, I completed it. Oh. Good enough. So, you're gonna take... Normally, drill bits do great. I forgot tools today, so... This might be interesting. 
I did bring a lighter. Heat it up. You, think? The strat? you got a lot of prep work for yours, so yeah. you better start preparing now. I know, right? All right, so you got a hole. Again, drill bits would make life a little easier, but we may do it. I don't want to have to buy a drill at Walmart, so does it fit? Like a glove, folks. You got to make it sure it's fairly straight. So we'll probably stick one right in there somewhere. This rotates it or should. just the bottle rotates uh, on it? Bottle. Okay, so this doesn't need to really. No. Shoot it like about right there. Make a mark. Now I know where we're getting it. Make a dent. Really? This is just not efficient. Little thumb just about got KO'd there. The bucket's just absorbing too much. Yeah. We're so close. But yeah, so far, we'll get it, don't worry. I'm better luck pushing with my thumbs. Oh, yeah, we got her. Pull it on out. Shows we gotta do the same thing to the bottom of a pop can. That should be easier. I think so. You want me to drink one for you? Oh, you're doing with it in it, huh? I don't think that's so oh, great. <laughs> Wait, in the splash zone? <laughs> yeah. Nah, uh -huh. you'll be all right. <laughs> Why did you drink it first? <laughs> There's a rock in there. <laughs> what? What? Is yeah. it Dude, there was a rock. I just spit a rock out, 100%. Because you just put that hammer in there and you're drinking off the hammer now. All right, so stick the rod back through. Yeah, put the pop can first through. Oh, true, yeah. true, 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 true. Good call, good call. Like, I'm building this thing. We'll try one and then we'll put the other one on if it works. It's a little loppy. I might try another, another hole here. Just like center it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. There we go. I think it's like a survival challenge. If you had to like eat a mouse for survival. I'd rather die. Really? If you cooked it long enough, their bones would probably just be nice and soft. And it tastes like rubber. Would you rather eat rubber or die? I mean, die. Really? Not sure many people would agree with you on that. Oh, yeah, it's still gonna. I mean, it does what it needs to do and gets them off, though, right? Yeah, you would think. Okay, let me try one more. This helps for bugs and pre baiting them. All right, take this off. That will work better. Yeah, it should work a little better. Okay. Now, let's see. Are we dangling the right way here? That is yeah. better. Yeah. The real question is, are you going to lube it up with this so like it makes it fall even easier? You know me and lube. No, I really don't. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so is that a yes you're going to? Yeah, maybe you should wait and see. I don't know what's going on. Ooh, that might be the strat. Look, I just accidentally made a hole right in the middle. I think this one's going to work out a little better. Now, God, there's zero percent chance to find the hole here. Oh, first try. Imagine that. Okay, all right, we're, we're doing all right. Think about that, like that? Yeah. All right, so as you can tell, this is the old rolling thunder here. Ideally, you have two ramps. They walk up and you put some peanut butter right here and they hit it and then they fall off to their death. And then it just resets. There's nothing that actually has to be reset on it. So, oh, we need cardboard. You want a piece? Yeah, give me a good size square. So the cardboard is to prevent them from running across the whole thing. Oh, you need your nail again. Dude, these nails come in clutch though. So you stick this on there. Oh, I forgot straws. I put a straw as a spacer last time. Forgot about that, because that'll keep this thing tight. We're gonna have to improvise. Sure we got a straw in your truck. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, scooters, clutch. The idea is that when they walk on this, as soon as it starts spinning, they can just sprint across it, right? So this is supposed to stop them. They're supposed to hit this, try to jump, and then fall to their death. That's kind of the plan. Try this. Oh, I have to take this thing apart one more freaking time. Stick the straw in to the spacer. <clears throat> Oh, it's almost in. <laughs> what are you laughing about? Grunting noise you're I'm making. To, I'm about to sit on my butt. I'm getting, <clears throat> I'm getting tired. I need to take a break. All right, we're taking the whole thing apart. Starting from scratch. All right, straw on. Top can. There it is. Okay, and I think we need a little piece here. Slide that guy on. Take your cardboard. Slide that guy on. I'm liking it so far. I'm liking it. Another small piece. Slide that guy on. Slide your can on. I actually lined up pretty good. Do one more little piece. I'm not grabbing that. Oh, oh, here it is. Oh, I thought it went on the other side of you. All right, slide the straw on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are you laughing about, my guy? Look at this mouse trap. Tell me this isn't the greatest thing you've ever seen. How do they get up there? I got building a ramp still. Oh. But that'll give us the right spacing. So we gotta build, let's grab like a little two by four of some sort. Ramps, and then so then take your peanut butter. It's just like that. 
Oh yeah. And then your peanut butter can go on the cardboard because the weight of the peanut butter will throw off the equilibrium of the spindle. That's a big worry for you. Yep. You can put a little bit on here, you know, just give them, give them a little encouragement. Like you see, like it'll, it'll kind of weight it down. So you don't want that to happen. So give them a little, just a couple little freebies, just a little bit. So they're like, Ooh, that's fire. Then they see the rest of it on the cardboard. Basically, you want them to go run after the cardboard. That's kind of the idea. Put it everywhere on here. And then we'll fill it with peanut oil so that way they can't climb out. Those little suckers can climb pretty darn good. So are we putting ours right next to each other or in different areas? I think it's only fair if it's in the same area. Maybe like right where we're at right now wouldn't be too bad. You could either do like one over here or you could do one on the other side too. Before we go spark the mule. The mule I know they've been getting over there. So we yeah, could do, maybe let's do that. Let's okay. do one. We'll do one in one. So this is pretty much my contraption. I think it's going to work. Peanut oil. Please. You think I should lube up the cans a little bit? I think so. They'll have no traction now. I think that's it. I think so. I think it'll work. All right. Well, mine's pretty much done. I got to build some ramps. You better get started. You're going to get behind. All right, Einstein. Let's see this. All right. You <laughs> want me to you want me to do it on the other side? I can take mine to the other side if you want to do yours right here. Okay. I don't care. Yours is by the door, which I'm assuming they probably get in through that. Yeah. I could use probably those rocks for them to like to dive. climb. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll just sit. So I just need to like. I'll give you the way. advantage because I bet that's where they're getting in. Yeah. So. Okay. And okay. then I'll go on. I'll go on the other side. That'll that'll right. ensure that you probably will catch something. Hopefully. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, no, that's it. They could easily climb up on this, and you could even throw. I say I throw like a rock in. Oh well, you don't want them to be able to crawl out though. No, I just need to make it a little more flat. There's another flat rock. You can stick it there. I think that's decently flat. Oh yeah, they'll be able to just. Uh, so I don't down. think you want that much, but you just want to be able to fill the bottom. Try to level it out. Yeah, yeah. There you go. A little more than that. Yeah, you think? a little bit more. So then what are you putting for bait? Mount Vesuvius? Yeah. Peanut butter? Yeah. So you think that's good or you think more? No, I think that's probably okay. So if they get in there, they're going to be... They're spo it's supposed to be too, too, too slick for them yeah. to be able to jump in and out. Yeah. We brought a couple of trail cameras where we'll set them out. I don't. I can't promise we're going to get very good footage of it. At least we'll know like, oh God, did you see that spider that just came off that? No. Right by your croc. Look down at your croc. Oh, what is that? He literally came off the peanut butter jar. So I'm fall right down. Rip. Oh, he said... You look at him, he's running. Oh. All right, so you're putting a bunch of peanut butter in there, is what you're telling me. And you could just cover that whole thing and just lay it down there if you want. Like a little, uh -oh. little pad island. Yeah. And yeah, just cover that, dunk that whole thing and just lay it down there. Because I don't think that's going to be too much for them to like climb up on and get out. Oh, oh, oh big rip. Oh, oh, God, yeah. Look at that. Put that right in there. Yeah, right there, yep. That's it. And then maybe put a little peanut butter like around this rim. Then they'll just dive on in. Look at that. So you think like. Yep. Get them to kind of come down. So you could put some down there and you can always put a little bit on this rock too. Too much. Yep. yep that's I'm just it. gonna. I just don't want him to be able to jump on that and then jump out. Okay. I don't so throw, think throw a little, so. Throw but a little bit more. Yeah. You, you would think there would be all right, but there we go. Yeah, you got it. Banjos is good. I'm gonna go just set mine on the other side. Set some cameras up before we leave. We gotta go check this dead body bag. I've been I've been hyping it for like three days now with you guys. So I'm gonna go get mine set out and let's climb up on the ladder. Boom. We got our ramps. I might throw a little peanut butter on it too. And they come up. They're like ooh peanut butter. <laughs> And they fall right in. Same thing on this side. Ooh, dude, that's so slick. They might just fall off of it in general. The spinning might do it. It's super slick. It's all lubed up right now. So mindset, banjos is set. You climbing up there? Sure. There you got it. Hey, you missed the day of cleaning. You... I had like four meetings. If this guy says meetings one more time. I'm just kidding. You take my meetings over then. I'll, I'll tell him. Hey, listen, pal. All right, let's go. You got yeah. it, Banjo. What do you think is in this? Well, heck, I can go up on the other side. Is this thing ready yeah. for two beef kits? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, you'll be all right. Gross. Ah! <laughs> you're gonna make me fall. <laughs> I'll die. Yeah, you're making me fall. Okay, okay, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Wait, what is in there? Anything? Insulation. Oh, uh, see, I said that. I was like, oh, but there's no insulation but, anywhere else. I know. Mice have just like chewed. Oh, I bet that's just a bad deal for the mice. Oh, I bet the mice just. So is that all that is? Yeah, there's like three bags of it. Where, so where's the insulation at? You quit touching me. <laughs> You're make me fall off this thing. <laughs> so is it literally just insulation? Oh yeah, it's just insulation. Yeah, it's all just tore up. Yeah, that's where we gotta put some mic. like leaves and stuff up here. Really? Walk up there with the camera. And yeah, let me, I'll show you guys what's going so on up here. That might be just where they live. We might have to put some bait stations up there or something because this is just feeding them and nesting them. And all of our feed was right there. They just had to crawl right down. Oh yeah, no dead bodies, but the mice have had their way with this area. So we'll have to get, some, we got some bait stations and stuff. Actually, there's some right over there. We'll, we'll probably throw some out. We want to catch obviously them with our traps, but that's, we put them on the outside of the shop. Inside, we got to get serious and do like the commercial grade stuff. So anyways, that being said, we'll see you guys tomorrow. We check the traps. Shoot!
Woo! Well, folks. Oh, look at that. Head balls. I didn't see. Where'd you come from, Junior? I didn't see one of them in a while. I forgot this place is loaded with them, but it's been a while oh, yeah, since. That's right. Remember that when we first. We, we saw like all the mushy ones. Yeah, when we first bought this place, they're ever, and I guess like the deer like them. But, uh, anyways. Oh, you got it. You were in a picture, weren't you? No. No, I didn't think so. Oh, oh big outfielder. All right, well, we are here to check the mouse traps. We set up some cameras, but I didn't get any photos back. So either the service isn't good, which is definitely possible because we're kind of out in the boonies here, or we didn't catch anything. This is kind of the moment of truth. You went the simple route, yeah. okay? You, you yeah. big, big bowl of peanut butter and peanut oil. Right over here's banjos, and then mine's on that back side here. So let's see what we, oh, oh, no, I thought that was one. I mean, I got some. Hey, you got some crickets and yeah. bugs. Yeesh, that didn't look very good. That don't look like peanut butter. No. Like all of it around the edge is gone. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you did put some here, didn't yeah. you? So they ate it. I wonder if they were just nervous to jump in. They were. Or did they jump in and get out? Did they get on the peanut butter and be able to jump out? They maybe could. I don't know. I mean, that's not that tall of a bowl. I mean, if yeah. they extend it, they might be able to get their little paws up there. Yeah. Or like, there's a, oh, I didn't see that. There's a rim. Ooh. Oh, rip. That might have done it. The picture should tell if it worked, though. I'm going to bring my laptop to read the photos. So we're going to have to go back and check that out. We're going to go home and check out the footage and see. Rip. Do we get any photos of anything? or at least see if anything was interested. Mine was on this other side here, which I thought Banjos would do better just because he was closer to, ooh, gross. All right, mine's over here. <gasps> Why is it knocked over? How? How did, oh no. Well, there ain't gonna be anything in it. Oh, man. rip. Oh, it's empty. What? What happened? What? A raccoon tried to knock it over or like the wind? Bro, what the heck? It's like this was up yeah, here. Yeah, no, this this was up here too. Something got in it. They ate, oh yeah, the peanut butter's gone. They ate the peanut butter. I mean, maybe a possum or something. One of the peanut butter. So we have this camera. I think this camera was angled too high though. I don't know if it got it. So I got one photo back from it and it was just shooting this. Rip. It maybe got like something. What the heck? That literally makes no sense. We're gonna have to go back and view some of that footage and see. I don't know if this camera got it though. I'm nervous. I got one photo. I remember seeing it up there. I should have lowered it back down, but maybe you'll get a little glimpse of a raccoon or something to figure out what happened. So stay tuned. We made it back to the ranch. We let the mouse trap sit for two more days, and then I said, "This is it. I'm done dealing with this raccoon. We're gonna start raccoon trapping." Well, it's not trapping season, and uh, well, Banjo's ears got yeeted. Well, like, why would the raccoon just like get pissed? Like, we need to get better cameras, cause like, imagine him just like yeeting the bowl. Like, you the bowl get, was over there. Did he get drink at all? Yeah. Oh yeah. Also, yeah. I guess yeah. Some of it spilled. spilled yeah. That's annoying. These raccoons. I can't. I mean, like, I can't get rid of them. I might have had one, and they might have ate it. That's like, what I'm saying. They could have. Like, they could have eaten it. They, they might have eaten it. So Banjo, we reset his and his ain't it. I think like, you gotta, if you're gonna do this, you need to like, we need to put them in the shop where like raccoons yeah. can't like mess with them. But at the end of the day, I feel like a normal mousetrap's probably like. The way to I mean, go. look, they destroyed that dude. This, all this mineral and yeah. stuff, there was two blocks, it's gone. So I bet that, I bet that's like a raccoon feast pile. Oh geez, mine's destroyed too. What the heck? Oh, they wrecked the cans. What the hell? Oh, there's a mouse, there's a mouse. There's a mouse, there's one. Oh. Rip. You get to see the mouse. Look, there's uh, uh, there's uh, maggots crawl. That's bad. Ooh, I just about lost it. Ooh, like you get where you're like nose, you get your eyes start watering. Ooh, I just about lost it. They're destroyed. That was from the, and you can see his claw marks. Look at that. The claws right there. So what would make him destroy the can? But I put it in the tire. I wedged the, the jug in there so it couldn't move. He still knocked the boards off, but obviously there's a mouse in there. Yeah. So like he obviously, the only thing I can think of is there's no peanut oil, which so maybe there's, I guess there might've been a small hole in the bucket. Cause like there's no, there's no peanut oil whatsoever, which actually makes sense. Cause when we first came out here, there wasn't any left either, but oh, mm, mm, there's, there's one mouse. I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd chalk it up as a dub. Other than, I think we got to do this again, but it's got to be done inside the shop where like raccoons can't get. Cause I just can't believe he destroyed the, the actual can. Like, For no reason. What, what would, I mean, his claws literally went through it and then he ripped that open too. That's like crazy. maybe thinking there's, or maybe he's a big fan of Coke cherry. I got one, one, one mouse, one decaying, rotting, nasty maggot covered mouse. See if, if the oil was there, I don't think it'd be like decaying like that. I think, yeah. the, I think that oil kind of helps like almost preserve it, I guess a little bit more because we must've caught that pretty, the first night we reloaded this, we reloaded it two nights ago. My guess is it got trapped right away. And then either that night or the second night is when the raccoon came. And, and by that time, the mouse was too gross for the raccoon to eat. That's the only thing I can think of. So I don't know. It, I mean, it, I guess technically it's, it worked. I, I would say right. we need, if we're going to do it, we got to do it again in un raccoon claim territory. I feel like that totally like botched our system, but I mean it worked like I said I've, we've set some of these up before and they've worked So if you guys have mice problem in your garage 
without a raccoon that lives in your garage, I would say it's probably a decent idea to try. I mean, it worked, it got one, but it's like, I feel like we didn't do it justice. And we, this video has been going on for, it seems like weeks on end, trying to get these stupid mice. Cause like the ranch, we gotta drive all the way down to reset it. Then the raccoon, and it's just like, we're going back and forth back to where I'm just like, you know what? I'm not even gonna claim the dub between Banjo and I. I am gonna give the dub to the raccoon because he made our life hell since the beginning of this video. He's made it really, really, really tough to try to get something trapped but what are you gonna do I, I mean i guess it works somewhat in inside i think we should just stick to traditional traps I, yeah. I feel like you can't beat the bait station you can't beat the little snappers maybe if we if we have any more mouse problems i think we could maybe reset them but for now as long as the mice stay out of the shop we're not gonna mess with the homemade traps but if you guys have any ideas for homemade mouse traps that you guys like let me know in the comment section down below the ones that i can't think of the word again repurpose recycle reduce reuse recycle i the recirculate when it goes over and over, you can catch a million mice. If you have any ideas on stuff like that, those are the best because like, then you can just catch like 50 of them and it's not like one little snapper at a time. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.